Hey guys, so we're back with another Ashley L. Dalton video. Um, this one is she makes over 30K a year and she's willing to go 50 50. For me. Hey, Annie, Hi. how are you, beauty? I'm doing well. <laughs> are we good? Are you, you want to set your camera up so you're good? Yes. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Perfect. All right. Hello, beauty. Okay, your name is Annie. How old are yeah. you? Anne? Yeah. I'm sorry, Anne. Yeah. <laughs> I said it confidently. Annie. Okay. Anne, how old are you? Where are you from? And what do you do for a living? I am an engineer and I live in the Bay Area. Um, I was born in the Bay Area, but I'm from Ghana. And so I was culturally raised Ghanaian. I, uh, and I'm 31. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry? You have any children? No, but I do have a German Shepherd. Oh, that's a big dog. Okay. Would, would you date a man with children? I would. Um, I used to not want to until um, I realized I'm definitely into men who are good fathers. That's important to me. So she will date a man with children. I think that's fine. Especially being 31. It's like at this point, if he's in his 30s, he he probably has some kids. So, And she wants someone that's a good father. So, so uh, men with children are not off the market. They have to act, but they have to be active fathers. Thank you. Okay, and um, describe your dream man. Don't describe his looks. Mm, that's so good. Um, my dream man is someone who has character, who has strong um, understanding of discipline, someone who knows boundaries. I want a man who, it is a matter if we're broke or rich, he knows that his role is to provide um, and he takes that very seriously. I want a man who is a bit traditional. So he's someone who doesn't shy away from the expectations that I have of um, what a, a good man should be, I guess. So I, I'm looking for a man who is ultimately um, conscious of God as well. And who can, because I'm... <laughs> I like to say I'm very alpha-like, so someone who isn't intimidated by it, but is excited about a woman who um, is empowered by her femininity. So, yeah, I'm on my... Hold on one sec. So she wants somebody that... She says she's alpha-like. So she's used to, I, I guess, you know, being on her grind, which most women pretty much have to be. Um, hmm... But, you know, if she if she has an alpha side, she probably uh, needs a man kind of more, um, I would say, probably not an alpha because that could have some, like they, got, might, they might bump heads, you know, two strong personalities. Usually you need one strong personality in a relationship. So, and those could change and go back and forth. Okay. Yeah, I'm in my kitchen and the stovetop is messy. So I'm like, ah, ah. yeah. Shopify is going to sell. I guess system. what I'm saying you sell is that stage I stage think stage she's stage probably going to need someone who is laid back, like more of a laid back man. Yes, we're back. Okay. What does he have to look like? Um, he has to be someone who's fit, or at least, um, no, not, I'm not compromising on this. He has to be someone who's fit and someone who takes pride in the way he carries himself. Um, ultimate, I used to be someone who uh, didn't care about that stuff. And then I realized because he didn't care, I didn't care. And I didn't, and I, we can't have that. <laughs> I'm looking for someone who wants to live to be a hundred years old and be strong and fit and healthy. 
Um, so I'm looking for someone who's very aware okay. of the importance <laughs> of a healthy body. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. He make a certain amount of money per year. No, he does not. Okay. All right. Um, so he could make as little as let's say twenty thousand. I always throw that out to the to the ladies. Uh, I don't think you go. <laughs> No. Right. <laughs> That's why I said Girl, how much no. per year. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I guess it does matter. Um, okay. Um, someone who makes as much as me or more. Or around that area. Okay. Right. And what would that be like? Maybe you can give a range. Okay, so uh I make a hundred and ten thousand dollars a year, and that's on the low side. Um, I've made as much as three hundred thousand dollars a year. Um, can you give me three deal breakers? Someone who is how do I say this? Someone who isn't generous. Someone who is like how do I say this? Someone who is you know, you, okay, Go ahead. And someone who is kind of uh, yeah, nobody mean wants spirited to spirited in a way. Like, I'm not afraid of taking criticism, and I expect my man to kind of guide me in a way. Yeah. But it's someone who's like intentionally like mean and stuff. Mean, mean about spirit. it. Yeah. You know, I don't like men who are mean about anything. A deal breaker Girl, would be either. someone who doesn't <laughs> know how to communicate effectively. Yeah, you need somebody that can communicate. Fair enough. And, oh, I didn't ask this after we spoke about the money. Are you into 50-50 or fully providing relationships? Oh, no, I'm not into, I'm really not into the 50-50, but it's not, like, um, I take pride in also being able to uh, support my man if I need to. And if we're in the trenches, like, we're in the trenches together. Um, but it's not something that I... Yeah, like, I, my dream would be to have, like, my own little small business, and he, you know, he takes care of everything. It's <laughs> but, okay. Uh, I'm not, not going to say, like, oh, no, no, like, can't do 50-50. Like, that's unrealistic, I think. Right. And again, it's, it, you get to decide what that looks like for you. I always say there's no right or wrong when people come up here, but I know there's a lot of pressure. It's a voice what I it is that like we this. want if you want someone that can fully support you go for it that's what i feel like i would there's no shame i don't think that there is any shame in that if you or even if you are willing to live on less like i would say if she wants someone to fully be able to if they can fully live and he support her I, there is no shame in that. Like, why well, I don't understand why we, people, I think people listen to these, I guess, red, what is it, red pill stuff? It's like, I'm, girl, <laughs> I feel like get, get someone who can fully provide. There is no shame in that. You, you can ask for that. Yes. <laughs> Let's continue, y'all. <laughs> when there's so many people watching, you know? Yeah. They, um, give me one reason why you think you're single. Oh, that's such a good question. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I'm, I've been told, <laughs> I've been told that I'm a little uh, much. I'm overwhelming. So I'm the, I'm someone who, when I, when I see a man that I like, I don't give him space. Like I'm very upfront about what I want and my expectations. And I think that can be off-putting to the kind of man I'm trying to attract. Um, I also think I'm single because I- Okay, so she doesn't give the man space. Why? That, that just sounds like <laughs> a clinger. Like, so you just cling on to someone? It sounds like some type of abandonment issues. Like, hmm, let's, okay, let's continue. I have avoidance issues, or I had avoidance issues. 
So like when it came to deep intimacy or closeness, I was very scared of it. And so there would be times where he's doing everything. So she's afraid of in intimacy. So she's afraid she has abandonment issues. So there's some type of trauma there in her past, uh, probably from childhood, where she's afraid of getting close. Being close is dangerous for her. Maybe she was engulfed or something, but then she also had to kind of help her caregiver in a way. I know I'm going deep with this. It's just like, <laughs> we don't really know her history, but let's, let me get back to the, I think she has some definite abandonment issues, but let's get back to the video. Everything that I like and I want, and I would put the brakes up and I'd be like, no, 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 wait, I don't think we should. And I think that level of hesitancy um, can be off-putting for some men. And then lastly, Another reason why I think I'm single is because I'm very picky, um, but it's also because I'm very hard on myself. So I have found that um, I either gravitate to men who need support, right? And I don't really feel like I'm in a real partnership with them. And then I feel overwhelmed and drained because I'm with like a child or I deal with a man that I'm really like wild, wild about and I get scared. Okay. So she's with someone who needs her help. So needs her. So she needs to feel needed or she's with someone um, who is draining her or it sounds like sis, you are, uh, there's some people pleasing in there. You're trying to please people. You're trying to earn love on some level. Yeah, you're trying to, you think you have to earn love. Love, people, they either love you or they don't. You can't earn someone's love. How, how are these men showing up? Like, are you setting boundaries? That'd be my... Because you're going to scare that when you set boundaries, you're going to scare the men, the men that don't have boundaries, you're going to scare them off. So let's, hmm. She, so she got abandonment issues, boundary problems, people pleasing. Yeah, you probably was in some type of, uh, yeah. either she had to help someone, uh, a parental figure. Like maybe there there was an inverted relationship there somewhat. She says some she's been through something traumatic. So and maybe it happened. She's thirty one, so maybe it happened in her twenties. It's possible too, or it could be childhood. But let's continue. I know I'm going <laughs> super deep with it. I self sabotage. Um, so, so she self sabotage. So self sabotage is usually stems from some type of PTSD. Um, it's like a fear of the future. So, hmm, it's something reminding you of the past. And so you're just like, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, she's been through something. So that was a lot. She been through something. <laughs> I don't know what she's been through. I mean, from the outside looking in, I think you're a beautiful woman. I think yes. you're well spoken. And that's what gets me is that she is so beautiful and so successful. I would not think just looking at her, you would not think that she's going through all of this. She looked like she got the world by stream educated and you really yeah. have it going on for yourself she does engineer, she really has it going on money. she making good money yes actually she making good money beautiful like i would not looking at her and knowing her like on paper self i would not think she was going through all that and things like that i think you are a catch just from the outside looking in just yeah just talking to you you know yes. and i see there's a few guys in the and she's self she's self-aware too and that's good too 
comments who were shooting their shot. They well, already shooting their yes, shot. If there Look are any that. men, um, where can they find you? Would it be and the Ashanti Warrior? Would that be your handle? Yes. Okay, and the Ashanti Warrior. Thank you, Anne, for coming up. Thank you for sticking it through. And don't read the comments, okay? I'm not reading them. <laughs> <laughs> She's been reading the oh, comments. Well, but uh, again, y'all are great. So thank you for allowing me to take the space and take care. Bye. Go one by honey. Bye. Oh, you know what? I almost wonder the self sabotage. Is that her gut telling her something? Or is it the trauma? That's what I would want to get. To. That's what I wouldn't want to know. Like if I was her therapist or coach, I would want to know, get down to it. Is there like, is that from a familiar spirit that she's sabotaging or, and she's discerning that? Or is it like, she's just automatically attracted to these relationships? And it's just the, or maybe it's just fear. Maybe it's just, it's just that fear that she has that of the past trauma. And it's just like, she's just not <laughs> trying to go through it again. So I, I don't know. Um, but she's beautiful. She's going to find someone like some, or someone's going to find her. Oh, let me do this video let me go ahead and end this video here if y'all have any um thing you want to say about this video please comment down below subscribe if you like this type of content and thank you for watching